Oh, hello. What are you doing in my room? It's a bit strange. Okay, obviously I wasn't sleeping because if I was, I would be naked. Which brings me to point number one, sleep naked. I remember when I first started sleeping naked maybe 15 or so years ago and for the first few days it felt a little bit weird and since then I don't know how or why I ever slept with clothes. Especially when you wear underwear or shorts with an elastic band around the waist, cuts off the circulation, it just feels subtly uncomfortable. Of course there's times and the places you might be really cold or camping and you're in your sleeping bag and you want to layer up but for the most part when I've got the comforts of my own home I sleep naked. Psych. Number two, you might be thinking, hey Tim, nice bed setup on the floor, but what is that yoga block doing under the head of your bed? Well, I'm glad you asked. Years ago, I heard about a thing called inclined bed therapy. Now, I don't want to make this video another YouTube video of a guy going, do this thing and you will have epic sleep and every man will be jealous of your sleep and your business will 10 times because you're sleeping so well and your recovery will do this and you'll be able to train and run this ultra marathon. That is not what this video is about. I just want to share some of the stuff that I do around my sleep that I find might be quite strange or unusual that I find interesting, that you might find interesting, that maybe you want to experiment with or maybe not. But don't know if you've ever gone to a park for a picnic or just to hang out and you've got your picnic blanket and you've got a choice when you get to the location where you want to sit and there's a perfectly flat piece of grass or there's a flat piece of grass next to it with a very slight hill incline on it and you've opted for that because you can kick back, lie back, read your book, whatever it is. That incline just makes reclining on the floor just a little bit more comfortable. And so when I do this, I feel the same way. I feel like that slight incline, my head's naturally above my feet. If I lie on my belly, I feel like that just feels more comfortable as well. The theory behind this is that circulation is improved and therefore recovery when the body is lying at this angle. Oxygenated blood, which would be created closer to the head of the bed and the heart, is heavier than deoxygenated blood, which you'd find pulled in the feet. So at that angle, the oxygenated blood can fall down and pressure the deoxygenated blood out of the feet and continue to circulate. The same way that a tree gets water high up into its branches by dropping sap down, it pulls the water up. So that's the theory. I don't know if that's true or not, but ultimately some days I choose to sleep this way. Some days I feel like I don't want to sleep this way. I'll lie in bed and I'll go, no, I'll take the blocks out. Some days I'll lie in bed without the blocks and I'll go, no, I feel like I want the blocks in. I want that little bit of angle. Who knows, but something I do, try it or don't. Tip number three, always keep a wee jar by your bed. The wee jar was something I started doing about five or six years ago and originally for me it started out as a glass, an old Voss bottle, but you know, sometimes middle of the night, early morning, things don't, aren't quite as accurate, things don't fit as well. And I realized it's a thing, other people do it, it's, it's a product they sell on Amazon. So I got myself a proper bottle and I haven't looked back since. I would actually say if there was one tip on this, that has changed my life the most is this tip. And however weird you want to think that is, I mean, back in the day, they used to have bedpans, right? This, especially when my ankles were really bad, this was a lifesaver. Anyone that's got or has had bad ankles or bad feet or even bad knees and has had to get up in the middle of the night and walk to the bathroom knows how fragile and painful those first few steps can be when the body's in that like rest and recovery state and suddenly you're putting weight on it and going to the bathroom, you might be fumbling in the dark, you might have to turn a light on, you know, and, and blare, blare light into your eyes, which is gonna wake you up. Your body can think it's morning at that point and get a bit confused and be like, what's going off? So rather than, than that, keeping that by my bed, I wake up, need in the bathroom, I wee in the jar, I screw the lid back on, 99 out of 100, maybe 100 out of 100, I am right back to sleep soon as I've done that. So, like I said, that is my number one tip for people for life. And they do shiwi attachments. If you are female watching this and you think, well, what can I do? I would definitely recommend, you could you can make shift a bowl by the bed, whatever it is, something so that when you wake up to pee in the night, you don't have to get up and go to the bathroom. Has really helped my sleep and could help yours as well. Just love it so much. Tip number four. Before bed, some days you don't feel like a shower. 
just go and wash your feet with cold water. Some days you get in bed, you feel like you've had a long day, but you just don't feel like a shower. And so I just went to the bathroom, washed my feet with cold water, let them kind of air dry for a little bit, and then went back to bed. And it just felt like it hit the spot. So as one of those, for those days when you don't feel like a shower, or maybe you had already had a shower earlier in the day, but then you got active again, and you don't want to have two showers. There is such a thing as being too clean or washing yourself too much. You wash away you know, good oils from the skin if you shower too often. So some days, you just want to wash your feet with cold water. This is something that goes way back in history as well. I was watching The Chosen the other day and Simon walked into his house, took off his sandals and there was a bowl of water at the door. He washed his feet in the bowl and then walked into the house. So there's something historically, ancestrally, biblically in just cleaning our feet and not having to worry about every single inch of the body where you can still get a lot out of that. There's just some days, if you time it right, and you're getting into bed and you feel like, oh, I just don't feel like a shower, promise you, give your feet a cold bath, you'll get into bed and you'll thank me in your thoughts then. Okay now, if you don't mind. All right, so that was four slightly strange sleep tips. Sleep naked, sleep on an incline, maybe, use a weed jar, would definitely recommend that one. And if you don't feel like showering, wash your feet. Why not give it a try? Now there are other things, you might have noticed I sleep on an earthen sheet. We've got blue light blockers and a red light light for reading in the evening. But just let me know in the comments what you thought of those. Is there any that you already do? Is there any that I didn't mention that you do that you'd recommend for me to check out? It's an open conversation. As you can see, I changed the channel name to Tim's Gym. It's a bit more open so I can do more all-encompassing health, fitness type content. So look out for more of that in the future. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.